said that conflict here is with my daughter. And that is why we are ready to question the effects that that violent video has created. But at the same time, we will not be carried away by, by the message of the video and create a precedent that is not supposed to have been created. May I at this juncture invite that's why we segmented it. Maybe we will hear from Aruna Boshi, lawyer, and if you make a presentation based on the document you give the committee, we will do the needful by equally creating time, creating time to equally listen from the main side. But we will all go to PPT with clean hands in this committee. We want to get the truth. And I advise both the council and Simon Haruno Boshi. If there is anything you know you say, or you are here, or you put it on paper that is not true, kindly retract it because we are subjecting your honor and court before you make this decision. So may I direct that the clerk should do that quickly, subject Simon Haruno Boshi under the sheet of that court. complained by virtue of section 179 of the Armed Forces Act, Cap A20, Law of Laws of the Federation 2004, he wrote a formal complaint to the commander Naval Unit as required by the law, down to section 2 of that same provision, he wrote to the Chief of Naval Staff. Subsequently, he wrote to the Honorable Minister of Defense. All, we are, all these letters were acknowledged, received and acknowledged, but none was replied. And it is a common fact in law that facts that are not controverted remain admitted. He has taken the pains to write to the commander, Naval Unit, Sometimes last week, no reply. 
same applicable to the Chief of Staff, no reply, and also to the Honorable Minister of Defense, no reply. Going by their laws, by Section 179 of that same law, I permit the camp permission officers to read that provision for subject to the subsection of this section, a soldier rating or an aircraft man who feels he has been wrong in any matter shall first exhaust all the administrative remedies available to him, of which he has done that. that the word there is shall, which is mandatory. It is mandatory. If you cannot do that at your own whips and caprices, you must follow the law. That's the law's simplicity. Now down to, down to number six, no soldier rating or aircraft man shall be penalized for having made a complaint in accordance with this section, so far as the complaint does not contravene any provisions of the Act. Mr. Chairman, sir, we have, we have overwhelming documentary evidence attached to, to this written submission. Ranging from Pretoria, we have the pictures of the, uh, with due respect, Rear Admiral I.O. I. Mohamed here, with that of the seaman, Arun Abushit, they are all attached to this, or they are all exhibited. Now we also have a statement emanating from one uh, Oluwa Femi Abraham that he made in respect of this case. We have the letter written to the Chief of Defense Staff, dated the seventh day of April 2019, with no reply. Sorry. We also have a letter written to the Commander Naval Unit, dated the 8th April 2019, no reply. We also have a letter written to the Chief of Defense Staff, dated the 6th May 2019, no reply. In summary, or to paraphrase, what we are saying, the, the Naval unit failed, refused, and neglected to do their duty. It is, it is the constitutional right, or by way of norm, to reply to letters. Letters, letters that we are acknowledged, received and acknowledged, were never replied. So based on that, we felt strongly that there is, there is this act of negligence on their part. Because the gentleman is, is in all force, in all force, in compliance with this, the Section 179 of their act, that's the Armed Forces Act. And they are product of the Constitution by section of section by, by virtue of section 217 of, of the 1999 Constitution as amended. So we, we so pray that all our supplications before this house be, be looked upon. We look upon. We are most obliged. Thank you, Chairman. I've gone through your document and uh, I'd like to ask a question. In this document you submitted, several times a driver is mentioned and uh, your case would actually do you more good if that driver is present. Where is the driver of the rear driver? Because your yes. case, yes. you make reference to the driver as a witness yes. to your case in a yes. lot of instances. Where is the driver? Is the driver yes. available? Because if the driver is not available, then um, I don't know how we can substantiate all your allegations. Thank you. Yes, yes, uh, the driver, today we actually came for the presentation. If, if need be, yes. if need be, when we are given the opportunity to call our witnesses, we will bring the driver, we will bring him here to come and testify to that effect. Thank you, thank you. Yes. I, I want to Maybe I'm privileged 
since on the 16th, we have an advanced copy of NAVA representation. But most of my colleagues only get the meeting position as well as Seaman uh, Haruna Boshit over 30 pages presentation today. So it will actually be very difficult for us to. I can read this property perfectly with the information and how I just glance through your representation, asking Austin as to driving the officers, vehicles, and what have you. Because in the Navy side too, there are allegations like that that the public were not privileged to go through based on the data we have here. But put it at the back of your mind that this committee is not going to go into the disciplinary military procedures. We are not going to do that. Our priority is if what Seaman Haruna Boshit said is true, we should protect him and protect the institution from such future occurrences of such actions and activities within the military. But to us here, we are not going to be the disciplinary board of the Nigerian Navy. And to equally ensure that as it is now, there should be the, the, the seaman Haruna Boshit need to be protected and his service, he need to continue to discharge his responsibility without undermining the institution. Let it not be that the matter is before the National Assembly and Seaman Goshi will not want to carry out any instruction from the bureau officers in the Nigerian Navy. But the committee have resolved to, if there will be clear public hearing and fairness to both parties, to study very well the volumes of the documents and the evidences you attach here, so that when we sit with you next time, the committees are better informed on the content of his allegations, what he said in the social media is different. It should be uh, what we have here in the federal. We equally put them at par with the Navy presentation and see where we are going to ensure there is justice in this public hearing. So at this juncture, I don't think we, for us to get papers today, uh, we need to go ahead and begin to read the paper one page by page, take notes. You are under what we need to sus sus subject you into custody. It is greatly going to be unfair. So that is why I use the advice of my deputy chairman and some members of the committee to say that the proceeding may not continue because we have informed both parties to give us their written submission prior to this time. But mind you, I have mentioned some sensitive issues. There are issues within the military that cannot be for public discourse. There are equally things that we said he should continue to discharge his responsibility as, a, as it is now within the Nigerian military without undermining the institution. This institution cannot support any officer, maybe because Mata is here and he became the constituent in his area of assignment. It's, it's going to be But our instruction to the Navy is that seamen have no worship, must be safe and sound. Where we need him, he must be here. And he should be allowed equally to discharge his naval responsibility to the best of his ability, depending when this committee will study and equally give you time immediately to appear before us based on an informed documentary submission you have made to all of us. Without any much waste of time, may I ask the deputy chair, based on his position as deputy chair, to, to give little vote of thanks and equally inform that we have other written submission regarding the issue of promotions and other issues within the Maybe that will communicate to you 
then next week when we should appear based on what we study here and put them side by side and move on from here. So briefly, then we briefly, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, sir. I want to hold them over. Our distinguished chairman and the entire committee and maybe to thank officers and men of the Nigerian Navy for honoring this invitation of uh, the public hearing. And I want to thank the Council of the Honorable the of the Snapper in the case. Thank you all. Thank all the members of the press, every other person, no particular order for coming. We should join mercy. I hope to see you again when we are back there. Thank you and God bless. So at this juncture, we are not even going to get to hear from the we are not even heard from uh, the person that alleged those allegations, who is talking about the spirit to us and will give you short notice of which you should appear for this whole public hearing. May I call on any member of this committee to move for their adjournment of this public hearing, please? Okay. Thank you, Chairman. I, with all the um, situation, I hereby move for an adjournment of this meeting. And so, 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 so let me call on right now to look to support the motion. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I'm not afraid of you. I present the team and say it was good. I second the motion for adjournment of uh, this uh, committee. The public hearing is hereby adjusted at that.